I'll be teaching you guys the OTE, Optimal Trade Entry ICT strategy. Now, not only that, in this video, I'll also be including how you can really involve the higher time from bias and putting it all together and giving you guys a whole strategy video and live examples towards the end of the video. So, if you're one that's struggling to find consistency, struggling to find a strategy that works perfectly for you, struggling to get precise entries, then this video is for you. I personally had to sit through three and a half, two and a half long hour ICT videos to actually gather these concepts in which I'll be breaking down in literally 15 minutes for you guys right now. And if you cannot sit through this 15 minute video, then there is no hope for you in trading whatsoever. Now jumping straight into the video. Firstly, we need to understand the higher time frame, right? I'm going to be creating a mechanical checklist for you guys so you guys really can understand how to formulate the whole strategy so on a sunday night when market opens up what you want to do is head over to your chart right you always want to start off on the weekly time frame doing a top-down analysis now i'm going to be breaking down the higher time frame bias a bit brief and short but keeping the strategy um, in detail okay guys i'll be creating a whole checklist for you guys for the strategy side of the video now Top down analysis, you want to start on the weekly time frame. Now, there's two things that the market does, all right? Take notes as I speak. I'll be creating a checklist for the strategy video, but for the higher time frame bias, I'll just be speaking about it. So, there's two objectives of the market. That is to grab liquidity or rebalance inefficiencies, okay? Now, what are inefficiencies? Inefficiencies are like fair value gaps, imbalances. What's liquidity? Uh, significant highs and lows, session highs and lows, weekly highs and lows, okay? <clears throat> Sorry. So firstly, you need to identify on the weekly time frame. Is there an inefficiency that the weekly is going to grab or is it seeking liquidity? Now, if you see on the upside, is there any sort of fair value gap? No. Is there any nearby liquidity? No. On the downside, what is there? We have this fair value gap, sell side fair value gap. We also have the sell side liquidity. We've got equal lows here. That's telltale signs that that is a liquidity area to be grabbed. Okay. So on the weekly time frame, we have now astonished that we are bearish. Okay. Because there is inefficiencies to get on the um to the downside and not only that there is also um liquidity to be taken now then you want to drop down into your daily now we understand already that the weekly is printing towards the downside however before printing to the downside is there any sort of inefficiencies or liquidity nearby that price may want to grab again what do we have here we have this imbalance as you can see here um this fair value gap here now not only that fair value gap what do we have nearby we also have this significant high and what is that significant high that is um wednesday's new york high so it's a session high and a significant high on the higher time frame so that is just a telltale sign of uh, liquidity to be grabbed so not only will liquidity be grabbed the inefficiency will be filled and then we can go seek lower prices as we know higher time frame is telling us that we want to go lower anyway okay now we've uh, understood that so we know that the daily and the four hour wants to go take buy side liquidity now as soon as market opens up we already know that we are looking for buys only okay so now you have astonished your higher time frame bias we know what we are looking for to start off the week buys okay done see that's exactly what you need to do to top down analysis you want to use the weekly the daily the four hour you don't want to go below the four hour as anything below that will not be classed as higher time frame bias now that is exactly how you get higher time frame bias just to see is there any liquidity that the market needs to take or is there an efficiency that it needs to grab and then always base it off the higher time frame. So now that's done, we need to understand the strategy. This is going to be the OTE ICT strategy that gives the most precise entry possible. Okay, guys. So now that we've understood, right, um, that price wants to um, go to the upside on the daily time frame, uh, although we are bearish on the weekly, we first need to fill the in imbalances, right? We know where we're bullish. So higher time frame checked. So I'm going to put here. Higher time frame oh, is checked. So that's done. We can put that over here. Now, the actual strategy side of the video. Now we need to understand what pairs can we trade this on. So again, XAUUSD, which is my personal favorite. We also have EURUSD. We saw um, GBPUSD. Now, these are the pairs that I've tested it with. This doesn't mean that you can't use any other pairs. I just haven't personally tested myself. Now, what time frames are we going to be looking for for the entry? Um, oh. We're going to be using the 15 minute and five minute, which I'll be showing you how to use uh, shortly. Now, this strategy consists of, so we need a liquidity grab. I'll explain that shortly as well. Liquidity grab. Um, <clears throat> we then need a market structure shift. We then need the OTE, which I'll be explaining. This is the whole video is based on the OTE. 
and then an order block or a fair value gap. Okay, done. Now, what timings are you going to be looking for executions? It's going to be London Open Kill Zone, uh, which is going to be from 2 a.m. till 5 a.m. And New York Open Kill Zone, which is 7 a.m. till 10 a.m. Now, the timings that I'm referring to is New York timing. This is the timing that ICT actually um, talks about. So he, he just reverts in New York timing. Um, so just convey it to your local timing wherever you are in the world. So once we've actually understood this, right, what we want to do, we want to understand that we're either trading in London or the New York. You can trade both. I always say if you win in the London session, don't look to trade the New York simply because there's just no need if you've won for the day, okay? So first things first, you want to mark out your <coughs> session timings. So London open kill zone. For example, say this is 2 a.m., say this is 5 a.m., yeah? Just for example's sake, London open kill zone. Now, price before your um, session, let it do whatever it wants, right? You have no bearing on price, just let it do whatever it wants. So it's gone up, down, sideways, whatever, okay? So now when it actually comes to your session starting, uh, this is where you are now actively marking out things that to, to look for. So first, you need to mark out your liquidity. So um, potentially, we have <coughs> sorry, buy side. <coughs> I'm so sorry for that, guys. All right, cool. So liquidity, you want to mark out your buy side and your sell side liquidity. Now, buy side can be significant highs and lows, or session highs and lows. It's totally down to you. So we have our buy side marked out, and then you also want to mark out your sell side liquidity. Now. This is where your higher time frame comes in. You know that you are looking for what? Buys, because the daily needs to go in and fill that imbalance or that inefficiency. So, well, buys, because we identified that that inefficiency needs to be uh, met. So, what you want to see is your sell side liquidity to be taken if you're looking for buyers. Why? Under sell side liquidity, there is buy stops, okay? There is buy stops, so you want sell side liquidity to be targeted. If you're looking for sales, buy side liquidity must be taken as there is sell stops above that. So, this is where you wait, uh, you patiently wait and you let price do whatever it wants until it takes your intended liquidity. Now, once it takes your liquidity error, you're doing this on the 15 minute, by the way, guys, you want to drop into the five minute as soon as liquidity gets taken. Now, what are you seeking on the five minute time frame? You are seeking a market structure shift as so. Now, as soon as you get the market structure shift, so we've had the liquidity grab, we've had the market structure shift, we are now implementing OTE. This is the most important part of the video. This is what's going to give you the most precise entry, okay? Now, OTE level. So what you want to do is get out your FIB retracement tool. Ooh, and this is how you're going to want to use it. So these are the OTE levels, 61.8, 71, and the 78.6. These three are the most important OTE levels. So if you want to set your Fibonacci tools to that, these are the settings, okay? So if you're looking for buyers, how you're going to draw that on is from the low to the high within... <coughs> within the most recent swing uh, market structure shift. Okay, so we've got the low to the high. We've identified these are our three OTE levels. Now within those OTE levels, you want to find an order block or a fair value gap, like so. So you've marked that out, done. Now you just play the patience game and let price um, retrace into your OTE level. This is where you look to execute and then target opposing liquidity. And that is how simple the strategy is, guys. So I'm actually going to be showing you guys a live example in just a second, but hopefully you guys have understood now. Uh, before I do go on, uh, I want to explain that uh, we do have a free telegram where we send out trade ideas, trade breakdowns, weekly breakdowns. We have so much free value within this, um, the trades that we take for the week, the profits we make, the profit payouts that we get, the fundings we pass. Everything will be broken down within our free telegram. And not only that, we have a premium, premium, premium service of our trading bot, which actually passes FTMO accounts, um, all the major prop firm accounts and actually trades personal accounts. As you can see, we had a crazy, crazy day on a um, week, in fact, on this personal account. Uh, so everything is shown very transparent. Both telegrams will be in the link below. Live breakdown of a trade of an example. Um, which you guys can sort of get an understanding of the strategy for. So again, we already identified that we want to see a higher push from gold into this inefficiency before we move down, okay? Now, obviously, you want to be on the 15-minute time frame. Uh, we understand that the 
we need a push from um, the upside right now. Let market open. Remember, you're either trading London open kill zone or New York open kill zone. Now, you might be thinking, what are these indicators? These indicators actually mark out my London session two to five and my New York session from seven to 10. So if you guys do want to use that, it is called KZ boxes, kill ICT kill zone boxes by David um, and you can use that. So. First things first, right? We're currently in the Asia session right now, as you can see, prior to London. Now, prior to London science, so London starts at 2 a.m., so you still got about two hours. Now, let Asia do its thing, okay? So let's run it back to about here. As you can see, this Asia low, um, this is Asia low, okay, guys? Asia low. So once we've actually got um, Asia low, we want to mark out this low here because it's a session low so that's a liquidity area okay guys so on the 50 minute session highs and lows are used as liquidity areas remember we're looking for buys so we're only seeking sell side liquidity to be taken now you let london start beautiful london has now swept our um sell side liquidity now what do we anticipate from a um from london session i mean after the liquidity sweep we anticipate a market structure shift okay guys uh one second so we've uh, we've anticipated this shift we now anticipate a market structure shift in which we get here oh sorry we want to take that back because that's where we got the market shift okay i just want to take it step by step for you guys so this high is a significant high uh, that we get the market shift too now remember you want to set out your ote levels straight after mark shift in the five minute time frame you want to get out your ote tool okay guys now you want to draw it from the low to the high in the most current market structure shift okay guys so again okay so this is the high we've anchored it to this high now we want to get a retracement into OT, which we're getting right now, but within the OT, we need a fair value gap or an order block. As you can see, this down close candle before the move up counts as an order block, which is amazing. So what we're going to do is mark out in that area here, but it needs to be inside, um, obviously, the OT level. So as soon as we get into OT levels like so, um, let's run it back one candle. You want to set out a position. So we're going to go longs from here. Um, our stop loss is going to be at this swing low. We know that this low is not going to be taken because we've had the market shift. Asia's already been swept. This is going to hold the low, right? And then we obviously just anticipate um, opposing liquidity like so. And let price do its thing from there on. And as you can see, price eventually hits take profit yes we came close to stop loss again this is very important why your um, stop losses placement is important if it was under this sort of order block imagine there we would have got stopped out so you need to understand market structure obviously we knew that this low was going get, gonna get held because if this low got taken our whole trade would have been invalid our could we would have had a whole new market shift to the downside we know we would have been wrong so that's why we put our stop loss here Came close, obviously we didn't touch, and then TP gets hit for a one to three withdrawal ratio. That is how simple and easy this strategy is. So hopefully this video did help you guys. The OT makes the trading so much more specific, so much more easier. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, do join our telegrams below. This is gonna be our trading bot, which passes FTMO accounts. We actually had a, a client pass a max allocation FTMO yesterday, which is absolutely crazy to, uh, using the bot. And no, you're not relying on us for results. We actually send you the bot to get all the results yourself. And then obviously we have our trading group, uh, group chat channel where we trade weekly breakdowns, uh, trade ideas, etc. the trades that we take for the week. So hopefully you enjoyed that video, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.